Today, I'm going to be making pumpkin pie caramel blondies. Uh, this is from the recipecritic.com. Um, her name is Alyssa Rivers. I will link below to her recipe. I have changed uh, just a few things, but I will tell you those things as we go along. There are two sets of ingredients. You have four ingredients for the caramel, and then you have more for the blondies. So for the caramel, you will need she is calling for unsalted butter. I'm using regular butter. So uh, a fourth cup of uh, butter melted. One cup of brown sugar. She's saying dark. I'm using just regular brown sugar for the caramel and the uh, blondies themselves. So um, one cup of brown sugar, a half cup of heavy cream, and a half teaspoon of vanilla. And then for the blondies, you need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon pumpkin pie spice. She is having you put a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm not adding any additional salt because I'm using salted butter. So I'm using one cup or two sticks of melted and cooled to room temperature. I'm using just regular butter. One cup of brown sugar, again, she's using dark, I'm using regular. Uh, that's a um, one cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of just regular granulated sugar, one egg at room temperature, one tablespoon of vanilla, and one can, it's 15 ounces of pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our um, a microwave safe bowl and we're going to combine our four ingredients, all four ingredients for the uh, caramel. And we're going to whisk this together. to microwave this for two minutes and stir, microwave for another two minutes and stir, then microwave for two more minutes and stir, allow the caramel to cool down for five to ten minutes and set aside. So this is our caramel. You want to use a bigger bowl than you think you're going to need because this is going to bubble up and it could boil over. Well, you see how hot it went up on the sides. Yeah, so use a bigger bowl than you think. Also, the bowl is going to be very, very hot. So we're going to let this sit here for five to ten minutes and we're going to go start on our blondies. So we're going to take our uh, pumpkin pie spice and we're going to add it to our flour. And we're going to whisk this together. And if you are using unsalted butter and you want to use that additional salt that she used, then you would add this in with your dry ingredients right now. And so we're going to take this and set this to the side. And now in a mixer, you're going to mix the rest of your ingredients. So we have our uh, uh, brown sugar. I'm going to put that in first. Brown sugar and our regular sugar. Lots of sugar. <laughs> and our egg, vanilla, butter, and our pumpkin, and we're going to mix this together. Now you want to um, Use your pumpkin pie mixture and your flour and incorporate that into your pumpkin mix here. I'm gonna uh, start with a little bit and I'm gonna add a little at a time until it's all gone. mixing this together you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you want to get a 9 by 9 inch pan and cover it with parchment paper now we want to take half of this mixture and pour it into our pan take three-fourths of our caramel and this bowl is still hot even after it's been it they say five to ten minutes it still is really really hot so uh, three-fourths of the caramel and that looks really good it's kind of formed like a little sugary crust on it Want to 
take the rest of our pumpkin. I'm going to go ahead and take my clips off. We want to take the rest of our pumpkin and put it on top. This caramel is a little bit firmer than it should be, but we have a really powerful microwave, so we probably did not need to let it cook for um, six minutes. Yeah, I probably could have done with four and a half or five minutes. But right, but it's fine. It'll it'll taste uh, it'll taste fine. But just when you make it, just know that you might be able to stop at what four minutes. Yeah. Okay, now you want to bake this. Bake it for 40 minutes or until an inserted toothpick comes out clean. So we're gonna, I'm gonna set my timer for uh, 40 minutes exactly and then we'll be back. So these are the bars directly out of the oven. I stuck a toothpick in and it came out clean. So now you, uh, we just want to let these cool to room temperature. So this is what happens when you cook, you overcook your caramel. So like it is solidified and it tastes really good. I mean, it's brown sugar, Very sweet. but you're supposed to pour your caramel over the bars and we clearly, we cannot use that. So we're going to toss this. Um, and some people would probably say, oh, add some butter to it, add some milk to it. Well, we're not sure about that. So we're just going to, we're going to redo half of the recipe. We're not going to do the whole recipe because half of it goes in inside the bars. So we are using two tablespoons is what it is of melted butter. And then we're using a fourth teaspoon of vanilla. We're using a fourth a cup of heavy cream and we're using a half a cup of brown sugar. So we're going to combine these together just like we did before. And we're going to heat it in the microwave and stir it and, um, Hopefully, we won't cook it too long this time. That looks really nice to me. So, what you want to do now is you take your caramel, and our caramel is still warm, um, but you just want to uh, drizzle some over the top. Just like that. So, the recipe says pumpkin pie caramel blondies, rich, gooey, and the perfect fall dessert. It says the prep time is 20 minutes, the cook time is 40 minutes, total time is an hour. Um, of course, that's, I don't think the total time being an hour, I don't think that uh, they're wanting you to cool these to room temperature. I did not let mine get to room temperature. I did let it sit for like uh, 20 minutes to take the heat off, but they're still warm That because that's how I want room them. Room temperature is not going to happen in an hour. No, yeah, yeah, total time, an hour. No, that with bake time, everything, there's no way that's going to happen in one hour time. So, no, that's that's a lot of these recipes kind of uh, uh, not just from this website, but a lot of them don't they don't think about the cooling time. Uh, but I would rather have it warm, and uh, our like caramel warm. is a little warm too. Yep. So, and th these are supposed to make I don't know how many I got. It's supposed to make 16 blondies, and it says if you get 16 blondies... I think that's what you did. It's 370 calories, but of course, that's going to account for how much caramel you use on top, and you know, so just you just have to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we did the caramel, though, because mm -hmm. of course, we couldn't have used the crumble <laughs> at all. Um, but the the new batch of caramel was much better and i only ended up heating it up for a total of probably two minutes and 15 seconds with the half batch and our microwave and it worked out much better it's still a little firm mm -hmm. caramel done. um i think those are absolutely delicious good bars those are very good bars did you get any caramel on the inside no 
I mean, there is a, you can tell there's a layer, so when you cut through it, you can you can feel a difference. Mm -hmm. But since our caramel is kind of firm anyway, mm -hmm. it really doesn't have a gooey, like, center. Mm. No, because we cooked it too long. My piece has yeah, a, a, yes. It's my, like a sugary layer. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to say. Because we cooked our caramel too long, my whole center has a crispy layer. Mm -hmm. A crispy layer. Whereas normally you won't have that. Um, I like it though. I don't I have don't a problem. That sugary, crispy layer. Right. So now like you couldn't, like if Kevin said, if we had wanted to keep that brown sugar, we could have put it over top the cro the caramel as a crumble. Yeah. You could have used it as a crumble. But I don't mind having it in the center but I wouldn't have wanted it. You couldn't have used it on the top for that, that caramel layer. I think it's they're really delicious. Super, super sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely delicious. And nice pumpkin flavor too. So mm -hmm. this is one of those things where if you, if you like pumpkin pie, this is one to try. I agree. I like the texture of this more. The pie, because the pumpkin pie tends to be a little pasty. It, yes. This is not like that. This is more dense, mm -hmm. but it's it's still soft, but it's not, um, it's very easy to bite through. It's very, very thick where yep. you put it in that nine inch pan. It's thick and it's it's a nice uh, amount. Um, the salt, if you use salted butter, I don't miss the salt at all. No, it's salty enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's completely so, salted. So you, as, if you're using just regular salted butter, you can just leave that out. Uh, that did not affect it. Uh, using brown sugar, I don't think that Light versus dark. I don't think that made any difference at all. It's dark still, brown sugar is hard to get around here too. They don't have a lot of dark brown sugar. Oh really? Uh, you only see light brown sugar. Hmm. Well, I, I don't think it made any difference at all. It's, it's just it, you know, it's we had brown sugar up in the cabinet. That's why I use regular yeah, brown. I sugar. think uh, the darker brown sugar has more of a molasses kind of flavor. Mm. Where I would, would rather not have that anyway. No, I'd rather <laughs> not have that. Yeah, anyway. So these are terrific, though. Mm -hmm. I yeah. hope you will try to make them because they're not hard. And it's it would be fine. Just don't overcook that caramel. In yeah, the just watch That's the, the thing. The bad thing is when you're heating it up, there's no way to tell, really, mm -hmm. because you're, you're not using it on the stove with a candy thermometer. You know exactly what temperature to hit. So you're just kind of guessing in the microwave. Mm -hmm. We've got a pretty like powerful microwave that uh -huh. cooks everything quicker than the recipes always call for. So um, so just drop your time down if you've got a really good microwave that cooks things fast. Drop that down to like four minutes total. Instead of six. Instead of six. Yeah. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'll have that link below. And thanks for watching.